What's up, Chad? Uh, I'm driving. What's up, Wes? City. Okay, so it is dinner time, and um, we are headed to Chipotle because, um, oh shoot, what? Huh? We're fine, okay. So we're going to Chipotle. One of our very good fans and supporters named Phil Betrayan, like he even sent a picture of him and his girlfriend wearing the uh, NG shirts. He sent us this uh, gift card to Chipotle, and little did he know, but Chipotle is like, one of our favorite places to go eat. We're actually going down to San Diego uh, on October 9th and 10th, that's this Thursday and uh, Friday. We were invited by the San Diego Asian Film Festival to speak at San Diego State University, University of San Diego, and our our college, UC San Diego, where we graduated UC from. UC San Gabriel? San Diego! Gosh, you're ruining it, man. Uh, check the boxes, the info box, to find out more information about it because we want to see you there. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to talk. The reason why we bring this up, this is a very special night, especially with the Chipotle gift card because when we were in school, Chipotle essentially fed us. They didn't feed us. You're saying like they sponsored us. Okay, we gave them a lot of money. <laughs> oh yeah. We, <laughs> we gave them a lot of money for their food because we ate there like three times a week. Are you what did you eat today? What did I eat today? <laughs> I ate like a couple granola bars, an old sandwich. You wanna know what I ate? A tiny little bottle of naked juice and I drank a protein shake. But you didn't have any solids? No, I didn't. Well then, Chipotle will once again save the day. In light of the fact that we're returning to San Diego again in a few days, we're hitting up our favorite spot when we were in San Diego, Chipotle, so we'll see you there. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> I just love Chipotle so much. I love how I love how you can just come in here, tell them what you want, put it all together for you, and it just makes the perfect burrito. It's so good. Don't you think so? Dude, what if finding a girl or like a girlfriend was just like going to Chipotle. You just go in and you just, you just choose all the qualities you want and then you end up with the perfect burrito, the perfect girlfriend. What'd you get? If finding a girl was like going to Chipotle, when I go to Chipotle, I get, a, I get chicken. I would start with steak for my meat. That's like saying I want a girl that is simple, you know? I don't need that high maintenance carnitas or whatever. Although sometimes I do look at the carnitas and I think it would be fun to just go for a fling, you know, one time with the carnitas, but I never do it. I never have the guts to actually go go forward with it. So I just get the chicken. It's simple. Steak is above chicken, but it's less expensive than carnitas because I want something that has a little class, you know, more than chicken. Everything tastes like chicken, you know what that is. Uh, but not as high maintenance as carnitas, you know. Hey, but the chicken, they spice it up so it's like a simple, it's like a simple grill, but she knows how hey, to like dress it up. If, if that's what you're into, yeah, sure. So the next thing that they ask is what kind of beans you want. Pinto or black beans, I, I, I like both, it doesn't really matter to me. I guess the beans are kind of like little extra qualities that make every girl unique. Let's say the beans are like sports. You know, I, I want the girl to, to play sports, but if it's tennis or like, you know, basketball, it doesn't matter. So it's like black or pinto, whatevs. Just give me some beans. Um, unlike Philip, and I'm not just whatever about whatever beans, okay? I, I'm precise. I go for the pinto. I used to have pinto beans in uh, elementary school for, you know, cafeteria for lunch. And, you know, that, that sense of the past and nostalgia is very important to me. It brings me back. So I, I, I want pinto. I know, I know what I want. I always get the fajita because I think the fajita part of it is, is necessary. So maybe like a sense of humor, a little spice. You got to have a little of that flavor, you know? You know I agree with him on this. There is a little bit of tang. And uh, that's important too. Next is the salsa. I always get mild. Can't, I can't handle that really spiciness. So I guess that's like a temper. You know, you don't want a girl that's that's too hot tempered and that'll make your like tongue go on fire, make you cry all the time. You just want someone that you know, is mild, chill, right? I I always get corn and cheese because personally I'm a very corny and cheesy guy. So I like my girls that way too. I'm cool with that. I like corn because it stays with you like a girl should. 
see if people get that. <laughs> Loyalty is very important. <laughs> I do splurge on guacamole because she's worth it. And they ask, oh, it's gonna cost that dollar forty extra. You want it? Oh, I want it. A little bit of sour cream, because sour cream's like cool, right? I want to go. That's a little cool. And then you gotta top it off with lettuce. Lettuce is important. It's like that extra sass, lightness to to the, the burrito. So crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> extra crunchiness. So I guess that's what I would get in my girl Chipotle burrito if that could ever exist. About the lettuce, uh, I would say it has no nutritional value at all, but it looks good. <laughs> you, I'm gonna say this, you want a girl that cares how she looks. I'm not saying you have to be like... All lettuce, all the not, time. Not all lettuce, all the time. Another thing I like to do is uh, lemon. Now, I like sweet, but lemon, a little bit of that citrus kick. It's good for you. A girl should be able to challenge, you know, her, her boyfriend. Put you in check. Yeah. I don't really know what the, all these ingredients mean, but I just know that this is the real that she would get. Oh. Oh. No, that was very wonderful, Ted. And I want to end with this. Take a look at my burrito. Um, I ask for a lot. I do ask for a lot in this burrito. In the girl, I ask for a lot. This time around, I wasn't able to handle all of it. I mean, I didn't think I could, but you see, I used to fork. Relationships are about compromise. You adapt to the situation, and you work things out. Mm, I love you, girlfriend. So I know we talked about um, burritos and girls and relationships and how they're so related to each other. And we do think about this stuff a lot, but to find out other stuff we think about and we, we do, uh, check out our daily blog, which is at longforproductions.com. It'll be updated daily by uh, myself, Ted, and Philip. And um, it's just another reason to come check out our site and see what we're up to so we'll see you there and you can't forget you always got to wash her down with a coat I have no idea what that means but I just know I like coke with my burrito when it's all said and done we're just kidding burritos are nothing like girls burritos are a lot more fun Cuerpo, alegría, Macarena, que tu cuerpo es pa' dar la alegría y cosas buenas. Bala tu cuerpo, alegría, Macarena, eh, Macarena. ¡Ay!